What's up guys? I'm out here in South Florida tonight hunting the swamps and seeing what I can find. This area got clobbered by rain the past two days so I'm really hoping tonight with uh, all of that rain that just happened is going to be really good and hopefully that rain will stir up some snake movement tonight. All right, first snake of the night out here. Just saved from a pretty busy road. Almost certainly would have gotten clobbered. It's this nice, chunky Florida cottonmouth. Somebody was just about to run him over, but I was able to stop traffic a little bit and get him safely across the road. All right, hopefully this is the first of many snakes tonight. All right, first snake after sunset is this nice big brown water snake. I haven't seen a brown in a while. Just bandits and a couple greens. But this is a good size brown water. I love the pattern and the color on these guys. Not interested. All right, see you later, buddy. Nice. Next snake is another brown water snake. Little one this time. All right, buddy, let's get off the road so you don't get squashed. Let's get a look at him there. You can see how, even though this is a harmless snake, non-venomous, when he feels threatened, he actually flattens his head to appear like a cotton mouth, make his head look bigger. So people who try to say, only venomous snakes have a triangular shaped head. That's not true. Another really big brown water snake. Just gonna help this guy get across the road real quick. Doing some periscoping. Come on, buddy. Don't want you to get smashed by a car. There you go. Just got two snakes in one stop. Let's see what they are. First one is a tiny little garter snake. Make sure he gets off the road. And then there's another one back here. Hmm. Looks like he got off the road. I don't see him. Oh, there he is. And. A ribbon snake. Two Thamnophis in one stop. Just got a berm. Check it out. Check it out. Look at this thing. Probably about five, six feet long. Unfortunately, I don't have a permit, so I can't remove it from here, but man, cool to see one. I haven't seen one this year yet. Sweet. Next snake of the night. A little, looks like a hybrid water snake down here in extreme South Florida. The uh, banded water snakes hybridize naturally with the uh, mangrove salt marsh snakes. And so a lot of these kind of dark, obscure looking ones are probably hybrids. There are a lot of bugs, so I'm going to get this guy off the road and keep going. Alright, so there was quite a bit of traffic on the road tonight, which really isn't surprising, seeing as it's a weekend and all. So I decided to give up cruising for a bit and do some night hiking. See if I can find any snakes out on the crawl. It's been a pretty snaky night so far, which is encouraging. It was pretty awesome getting that berm a few minutes ago. And uh, gonna see if I can hike up a pygmy rattlesnake or whatever other snakes I can find.
first herp of this spot. Not a snake, but found this little toad. Check this out, guys. Right down there is a pygmy rattlesnake hunting. Look at that. That is so cool. I was really hoping to see one tonight and to see one out actually actively hunting was really sweet. I don't think I'm gonna disturb him. I'm just gonna let him go on his hunt. There's some geckos around. He might be able to get one if I leave him alone. What a sweet little find. Turning out to be a good night for snake diversity. Those rains the past couple of days sure helped. There he goes. All right, just hiked up on my next snake. Check this out, a scarlet snake. Look at this thing. Also on the crawl, nice. This is the first one of these I've ever hiked up. Sweet, this night just keeps getting better and better. All right, so I just got to another hiking spot that I'm gonna try out. See if I can find anything. One of the nice things about night hiking, or just hiking for snakes at all, for that matter, is that you, when you find snakes, you're finding them just doing what they do in their natural habitat, out on the crawl, basking, looking for food, looking for mates, acting a little bit more naturally rather than just finding them when you're when they're crossing a road. So it just kind of adds another dimension to herping, which I really like. Well, no snakes yet at this spot. But that is a really big spider. Right, next snake of the night is my first banded water snake of the night. It's hanging out on the road. Okay, buddy, there's a car coming, I think. Let's get you off the road. There you go, go on. Look at how dry these cypress swamps are. Normally by this time in May, There'll be a good amount of water in here, and by the end of July, it'll be at least knee deep, if not waist deep in here. This just goes to show you how little rain we've had in South Florida this spring. The rain we had the past two days was good, but it wasn't enough. Nice little leopard frog right here. Hiding in the reeds. At least there's some water.
Look at all those tadpoles. Tons of them. It's the next day. I'm just hanging out with my kid's pet corn snake, Jasper. By the way, comment below and tell me why we named it Jasper, and I'll send you respect. <laughs> Anyways, I forgot to film an outro last night, so I thought I'd just feature this little pet that my kids have this morning. It was a great outing last night. A lot more diversity than I've been seeing lately, and pretty good numbers too. But that's just going to keep getting better once uh, more and more rain hits South Florida. So stay tuned. Should have a lot of good stuff coming up soon. And some exciting trips coming this summer as well. So you'll definitely want to stay tuned for those. <laughs>